Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for December 1st. We're going to start out looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. I'm expecting this pair to move as high as 96.39 and on the lower side 92.04. Now do look for some resistance to come into this market around 94.47 and look for support around 91. 85 if it doesn't get uh, support from our lower range target now if you recall um, or if you if you look at this particular uh, chart today we moved very very low very quick uh, we do have a blue dot indicating an over extended trade uh, as you can see the market opened and pushed lower and did take out that low uh, as it as it should and that was a 13 pip move. Now, uh, I realize that it's already moved, and I don't know if I would go ahead, since it has retraced, go ahead and take that trade on again. That's up to you. Uh, looking at the Euro USD pair, this particular pair moved lower today. Also, I am looking for this pair to move within a range of 1.2809. On the higher side, on the lower side, 124. 56. Now look for some resistance around 12709 and look for support to come in around 12562. Uh, this particular pair, I believe, will continue lower, um, although the bias is definitely to the downside for this pair. Now the pound US dollar pair, it created a uh, overextended trade also at the end of this session, uh, which we have taken. It's basically uh, a short at 148.82 and that's right here and we're looking for it to move down to 148.06 that would be a profit of 76 pips for that particular move. Now I am expecting this pair to move within a range uh, on the higher side of that range 155.21 and on the lower end of the range, 143.97. Now look for some resistance to come in around 15,000. And look for support to come in around 147.24. Uh, our range is rather large today. Uh, the resistance and support areas are probably a little more realistic for this particular pair. I do expect this pair to continue lower. Um, it's moving sideways for the most part. Uh, even after this long drop, we still haven't broken any of our previous support areas as of yet. When we do and get a close below that, then we can definitely look for it to go to, to move lower. Now looking at the U.S. Swiss, I'm looking for this pair to move between 122.42 and on the lower side 119.47. Now look for some resistance to come in around 141.00 and look for support around 1, 2,000. Uh, if you notice also, this particular pair created an inside bar today at the close. Uh, look for a break. If it breaks to the lower side, uh, it should blow right through this low, which is a little bit lower. I'd actually make that one pip below this low, my entry, and then look for it to move. Uh, you may hit some support at this point, but uh, you could just move on down to this level. Uh, that's a pretty big move within a day. I wouldn't expect it to do that, but uh, we may get it in the next session if it doesn't break out during this next one. If it does uh, reverse and go to the upside, look for it to take out uh, or, or hit these highs uh, made by this session and this session, and that would be a decent size move to actually take the trade there. Now, if you recall from yesterday, we had a a uh, trade we were looking at, it was a inside bar trade. We had the Australian US dollar pair create an inside bar. And we are looking to sell short on the low and basically take that trade to this point, which we did. And that was a 51 pip profit for that particular trade. Just taking that little slice right there uh, between the low of our larger bar down and it hit down towards some support, uh, previous support. 
Now, that pretty much does it for today. We do have the Australian rate decision later today. Uh, consensus is they're going to drop from 5.25% down to 4.5%. That's at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure to, uh, to, to check on that. And we also have the Swiss releasing their CPI for November at 1.45 a.m. Eastern time. And that is uh, the consensus on that is that they're going that's going to drop from 0.5 percent to negative 0.2 percent uh, year to date, dropping from 2.6 percent down to 2 percent. Uh, the CPI is one of those uh, news announcements that can move the market, especially if the consensus is way off. Uh, if it drops lower than that, look for the Swiss to lose some ground against the dollar. Now the Australian. Uh, Dollar also has their GDP for the third quarter being released at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's tomorrow. Uh, consensus on that one is that it has dropped from 0.3% down to 0.2% in the third quarter. Now, year to date, they're showing a drop from 2.7% down to 1.9%, which is a significant drop. If we see uh, the rate drop later today, as well as the GDP figures coming out lower, you can definitely count on the Australian dollar losing ground, uh, probably against most pairs. Uh, definitely worth noting would be the uh, Australian U.S. dollar and the Australian uh, uh, Japanese yen pair. Well, that about does it for today. Until tomorrow, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.